get ready for a full body definition where we are going to lift your booty, tone and sculpt your abs, and lean out those arms. I'm gonna be using some light hand weights and ankle weights to add that extra fire. Grab those if you wanna add that too. Otherwise, you don't have to use any equipment at all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's get started with our workout. I'm gonna be keeping time for us, as always, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna start here with our arms. So we're gonna lift up 90 degrees, rotate, reach, back down, rotate, and in. Okay, you ready? Let's go ahead and start. So lift, rotate, up, press down, rotate down, and in. Keep that core nice and tight as we work the arms. So we've got five arm moves right here. Each one is gonna work a little bit differently in the arms so that we can target every little angle of your beautiful arms. Make sure you keep those shoulders down. Core tight. Breathing, of course, as well. All right, we're gonna fly to row. So fly means that the thumbs are gonna lift up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then again, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you row, keeping the fingers forward, good. Up and squeeze it in. So this is a no repeat workout. You guys are always asking me for no repeats, so here you go. So, But also that means that I wanna make sure that you are giving it your all in every interval, okay? You're never gonna see this again. So I want you to give it everything you've got. some biceps so you're gonna reach out extend stretch those beautiful biceps and then give me a little curl right there extend curl extend curl it up facing forward nice big circle and then circle it around just like that okay Whew. keep the back nice and tall so this definitely works your back muscles so you want to make sure that you aren't rounded forward here like this that'd be really bad so keep that back and chest tall I always like to say you want to stand really regal if you're a queen with your crown on lifting up beautiful work tricep extension so I want you to get those elbows really high up okay squeeze them together and then extend and in keep the elbows as high as you can the whole time and really squeeze that tricep muscle up at the top
abs. Put those weights aside for just a second. Now we're gonna do a nice little cross here with the legs, right leg on top. We're gonna lay it all the way down, lift up, touch those toes, and lower down. Good, up and lower. Now, if this is too much, you can just bend the knees. That's it, okay? That's all you have to do. Otherwise, the straight leg definitely adds a lot. the other side Whew. left leg on top you can bend the knees for that modification if you need to otherwise let's do this Okay, grab those weights. Now we're gonna take a little butterfly with our legs and we're going to lift all the way up. So you're gonna lean back and lift up, touch those toes as you come all the way up, okay? Pretty simple here. The weights will help you to get up a little bit better too. And adds just a little bit of that resistance here to that upper ab as well. So we're going to now go into a hollow back. So you're gonna extend everything long here like this, a little bicep curl on the way up. If that's too much, just keep the toes down and do the same thing with the toes on the floor, okay? Whew. Arms and abs right here. And you're gonna also find a little bit of inner thigh work. So keep those legs squeezed together, ankle squeeze, inner thighs work. So you get that deep pelvic floor working as well. Lower belly is working and squeezing in. Keep going. reach up touch one toe come back down reach the other one okay let's go work as well, those thighs, full body right here.
Okay, quickly throw those ankle weights on. I'm gonna pause the timer just to give yourself some time to put those ankle weights on. So we're transitioning into our legs. So we worked our upper body, arms, abs. We are doing everything, but keep it going, okay? Let's go, let's go. So I'll show you your first move here is you're gonna put the weight in the knee. Now, if it's too much to put the weight in the knee, that's okay, just eliminate it right here. So you're just gonna tap down and lift up, okay? So adding the weight there adds a lot of feedback, as I like to say, right? Are you working the hamstring or not? So that's why I like putting it there. If it falls out, you're not working the hamstring. So it's a great little reminder for us, great way to stay accountable. And again, if it's too much, it's distracting, just take it out and add it in maybe the next time you come back to do this video. So now you're gonna come back and do this video again and again, right? Yes, I heard it, I heard the yes. Okay, tap down, lift up, tap down, lift up. So we're just doing a nice little donkey kick. So we're gonna do eight exercises here for the leg, but we're gonna stay on the left side or maybe on the right, just stay on the same leg the whole time, okay? So don't switch, because that's how you really get that extra burn. So right here, check on your posture. Abs are in, shoulders are down, right? I'm not slouching in my shoulders. I'm keeping my posture in integrity there. Keep squeezing that weight. Hold it here, little pulses up. That's it, just pulse, pulse, pulse. The goal is to get the knee at about hip height without compensating in the low back. So if you start to feel the low back hurting for whatever reason, lower that knee down just slightly and re-engage the abs and then work from there. All right, tap it down. Now we're gonna tap it to the left for a hydrant lift, lower back down. Okay, try to squeeze that weight again. It's gonna keep you accountable right there. And a little breather. 
I'm gonna add a little padding for my knee. So it's the easiest way to do that. So we're going to take the leg and we're gonna pulse it up in our arabesque. So holding it here, little pulse up, up, up. Stay strong. Arms are light. Remember on the floor, core is tight. And I want you to think about doing a little bit of a back bend in the back, right? That helps to lift the chest up. Good. Up, 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 up. I want you to think of the up motion here. Point the toe, keep the quad engaged. Good. Now we're going to pull the knee in to the elbow and then extend to the arabesque just like that. Ooh, that's a good one. I feel it. Here we go. Extend. Knee to elbow right there. Extend. So I want you to extend as far straight as you can right there. Right where the upper glute and the hamstring meet. I want you to engage right there. Give a little squeeze. Kind of where there's a little bit of that catch there. And again, if the low back starts to hurt or you feel something funny, just take the leg a little bit lower. Okay, that's all you need to do. Or maybe you take the ankle weight out, build up some more strength first, and then add the ankle weight. You want to build strength in the glutes, the abs, and the arms, not just the legs. Full body strength. Nice. Now we're going to take the leg in a U, just like this behind us. Okay, imagine a big U for you. Okay, here we go. Up. And tap in a rainbow. Now we're going to tap to the cross diagonal, open diagonal. Okay, so now we're taking, turning the U upside down. So tap up and tap, lift, tap, lift. This is our last one for this leg and then we're going to switch legs. So put the weight in the leg, right here, tap down and lift up, just like that. It's a little donkey kick down and up. So squeeze that weight nice and tight. Make sure that you're not leaning over to the side, okay? You gotta stay square in the hips. That means that the obliques really need to work there to keep everything square. So just little tap, little lift, little tap, little lift.
breather and then we're doing our pulses. Okay, so keep the integrity of the form. Shoulders are square, pushing the elbows in, and let's go. See if you can tuck the pelvis under, even while you're doing this. Yes, you wanna tuck the pelvis under to get the leg up, to get the back in a good, safe place. go into our hydrants. You're doing amazing. This is the work that creates the change. So you have to remind yourself. Sometimes it's maybe a little boring or whatever it is. Sometimes those little plateaus, those moments of, ah, oh, like, is this doing anything? Those questioning. There's always those moments, right? We are doubting but just remind yourself right now, take this as a sign that yes, it's doing something. Yes, you showing up, you working out, you showing up, being here is doing something. It is, you may not see the results right after, but I promise that you will very soon. And it does make a difference every day. How can you make yourself your strongest, healthiest you? Okay. So, what's our next one? Oh, yes. All right, we get to take the weight out, place the right hand down with the elbow down, and let's go our arabesque and lower. I love this one because it really does work the hamstring while it elongates the leg, right? Building lean muscles. So just remember, you showing up is doing something. I know it can be hard because sometimes you don't see the results right away, right? You don't get to see it. It does take time. You have to trust that they're there. And I'm sure you can feel it, right? I'm sure you feel really good. You feel accomplished. And then those aesthetic results will come, I promise. You just keep showing up and I'll lead you through the workout. And I'll lead you to your results. All right, we're getting there. Little arabesque pulses. This is where you plug in and you do your best work. Up, up, up. Just take a look around. Look at how beautiful it is here. And it is always a good thought to remind yourself of how, what a privilege it is to be able to work out, right? To be able to have two legs, two arms, to feel strong, to have the time, all these things, right? That we may just take for granted. But when you focus on appreciation, it really does energize your whole being. Here, we're gonna take that knee to the elbow, extend out, and let's go.
you shape this right here. Let's go. breather and now we've got our rainbows open diagonal to cross diagonal and then we're gonna move on to something else here we go so this one especially you need to think about controlling the movement from your core. I like to think of the leg actually starting all the way in my belly button. So you think of the line from the belly button to the toe, right? That's a different thought or a different visualization than thinking the leg starts right at the hip, right? It creates this connection to the core. Good, keep going. Let's quickly, I'm gonna pause this for a second. We're gonna transition into some bridges. So go ahead and take off your ankle weights. Whew. It's a beautiful sunny day here. It is a little hot, but I like it. Okay, so grab your weights and we're gonna place the heels down onto the ground and we're gonna move into some bridges. So the option here is to put the weights right here to just add a little bit of weight, just like that. So tap, lift, tap like that. All right, and then we're gonna move into some single leg bridges, and then you are all done. Okay, so we're gonna start in five seconds. So last little finisher here, and let's go up and lower. Really dig into the heels, but also think about the heels drawing towards your butt. Like you're squeezing that weight again in the knee, getting that hamstring to fire up. And think about tucking the pelvis under, okay? You're not just shooting up through the low back, but tuck the pelvis under, get really deep into those glutes and hamstrings. into a single leg bridge. So you're gonna lift it up, lower the leg down, lift and then lower the hip and lift, okay? Just like that. Ready, let's go. the other side and then you are all done. Continue to tuck the pelvis under, really right here, tuck it under. That's why we're doing that extra little dip there. 
to get you resituated in the correct pelvic position. You are all done. Whew, that was a good one. Really good burn. Make sure that you cool down, stretch out, and have an amazing rest of your day. I'm Action Jacqueline. Make sure that you subscribe and like my channel so that I can keep continuing to make videos just like this for you. Comment down below. See you in the next video. Bye.